What's going on everyone? Mike back, and it's time for my 2019 national recap. As always, wanted to take some time to just reminisce over my trip to the national in Chicago, show off some of the highlights of what I picked up, and just talk a little bit about the experience, because that's what it is. It's an experience. It's incredible. If you've seen the other recaps, if you haven't, make sure you check them out. I mean, there are dozens and dozens of uh, national recaps out there and I echo all the thoughts. It's just incredible. The community continues to build. There's so many amazing people and the national is an overwhelming, exciting, incredible, unbelievable experience that I certainly recommend you trying to, uh, trying to experience for yourself if you've never been to one or if it's been a few years. So it is, uh, it's just amazing. Absolutely incredible. The show is huge. The show is getting bigger. This year it was expanded and Chicago is usually the biggest setup. Uh, and it was, no matter whether it's your first or like your fifth, or I'm sure if it's your 10th, it's overwhelming. You walk into the show, even if you know what you're in for and you're just mesmerized at the size, the scope of the show is so big. I mean, it takes you hours to walk each and every table and that's with just brief browsing. And it was packed, tons and tons of people there. I mean, there's so much to see. You, you don't know where to start. You need to have some time to just take it all in before you start to actually shop and kind of seriously look at some of the tables and the people there. Uh, people from this community, absolutely unbelievable. Just a huge setup. So I'm going to show off a few of my favorite uh, pickups and then continue to kind of talk about it. I had to take notes and write a few things down because I'll still forget things and I'll still forget people and I apologize in advance, but it was huge. It was awesome. Let me uh, show off a few things. First up, the Custom brought to you by PSA, their T206 Custom. I got mine done in a Philadelphia Athletics uniform and turned out okay. I'm a little harsh on it. I don't really like the, uh, the way they crop the neck so much. Didn't think they did the best of jobs, but it was, uh, it was a great thing done by PSA. A lot of fun. Tons of people in the community got these done and they look incredible. Pepino Man's is a classic. Uh, Ed Wesker Griffs with the sunglasses on. Awesome. Check out some of the other guys out there. There's a... Uh, look incredible. Here's a few modern pickups from the show. Showed these off in my daily recaps, but still thought I'd show them again. It's a 2019 Topps Chrome Red Wave Refractor of Aaron Nola. I don't know if uh, the camera's even doing justice to this right now with the lighting, but that's a beautiful looking card. Just kind of happened to run into that one. Picked up a Scott Kingery Purple Refractor. It's a nice one there. Kingery's having a real solid year. And uh, one other modern one, it's a football embossed refractor, Curtis Martin. These are beautiful looking cards. Some of those awesome 90s inserts. A shout out to all the 90s guys. Let's see what else I grabbed here. Uh, a couple cards from Breaks, a couple highlights, and I have some others, I'm sure. It's a Scott Kingery Gold. It's numbered to 50, the Future Stars insert. Got that in a Chrome Retail Pack. And then have a Pete Alonzo, that was the big hit out of my Chrome Jumbo Box Auto, Pete Alonzo. So one of the big rookies, so I was really lucky and thrilled to hit that one. So that was awesome. I did a few other breaks, did my Archive Signature Series, bought some of these, getting the Jumbo Packs. Ozzy Albies was one of the highlights. Obviously a fantastic player for the Braves. Best card I hit out of that is a redemption for Christian Yelich. So can't wait to see what card that is as a Allen and Ginter fan uh, or just a card collector. I would take a rookie as well. We'll see what it is. It could be anything, but Yelich is obviously a fantastic hit. I do still have a bunch of silver packs. I'll be breaking some of those uh, with my dad when I have a chance. I look forward to that. And... Uh, Still have an opportunity for some more hits. I have a few other products I brought home, a couple tops uh, Inception, so that should be fun. And if I hit anything great, I will uh, certainly let you know. Got this out of one of Blue Jacket 66 Hot Packs, 55 Bowman, Roy Campanella. It's 
So a beautiful card and really nice condition there. So thank you, Dave. Absolutely incredible gesture. And I know everyone at that get together really appreciated that and had a f ton of fun. Uh, some of my old school Phillies pickups, 1941 Gaudi. Really cool Vito Tamales. So that's a neat one. Happy to add that to the collection. Got a 1922 American Caramel E120 Lee Meadows. I'm really having a lot of fun with the pre-war stuff. Trying to fill out my Phillies collection. Just trying to get one example from all the different sets. And my, uh, what I was looking for the most was some Cracker Jacks. And I did run into a few. So a 1914 Red Doin. So sweet there. And then a 1915 Al Demery. So thrilled with that pickup as well. The Cracker Jacks are really tough to find. They don't pop up on eBay a ton, especially in lower grade at more affordable prices with solid eye appeal. And I think I did real well with those. So absolutely uh, thrilled with that because that was one of my main focuses in terms of looking for the cards. But the National for me is always about the experience and about the people. So that's what I always look forward to the most. Of course, I wanna check out cards and pick some up and talk cards, but I like talking with the people. And we had a few get togethers. Thursday night, there was a big get together. Friday night, there was a big get together. They were both awesome. I mean, dozens upon dozens of people in the YouTube community who either make videos or watch videos. It was awesome hanging out and meeting everyone. There's just so many people, it was kinda of hard to, uh, it was hard to make time, uh, extended time for everyone, but did get to uh, at least say hello to everyone and talk to as many people uh, as possible, and it was awesome, it was a great time, and that, that's just gonna be the echoed thoughts. It was awesome and a great time. It was a blast. So the hangouts were great. Hanging out at the show was great. Everyone I ran into the show uh, that stopped me to say hello. It was, it was great, I appreciate meeting everyone. So, just from taking in this show, you can tell this hobby is booming. The hobby is back and it's strong. I know a lot of people have talked about how the hobby's dying or dead. False, false advertising. Uh, just check out Blue Jacket 66's video. He gave some thoughts on that. The hobby's here and it's here for a long time. Sure, there's a lot of guys collecting vintage that are in their 70s, but guess what? There's a ton of people collecting vintage and modern in their 20s, 30s. There's 15 year olds, there's plenty of people out there collecting and people are enjoying it, having a blast. I mean, this show was booming, it was, it was bustling, it was busy. People were buying, people were selling, people were trading, people were browsing, all the setups. It was, it was a lot to take in and it was really impressive. As far as the community, the community out there in baseball card land, in social media is super strong. I'm bigger in the YouTube community in terms of my following and following other people. I don't really pay as much attention to the others, but I know there were tons of people in the Instagram world, tons of people in the Twitter world, tons of people on Facebook, and a lot of those people are intertwined in with the YouTube community, so met tons of people, and the, the communities of social media have obviously changed and moved in different directions because there are all these different uh, aspects and different things people use. Some people are just exclusive to Instagram or exclusive to Facebook. All those communities are certainly growing and big. YouTube-wise, that's what I can speak to best. It's continuing to grow and get stronger. I mean, there's tons and tons of people out there making videos, building friendships, meeting each other, having uh, just an incredible time and it was amazing hanging out with so many people so the community is uh the community is great and i've enjoyed getting close with so many people it is uh it's crazy so what else did i want to cover here well i did run into mariana rivera at the national that was pretty epic pretty awesome a ton of fun i'm um, getting to quickly take a picture with him Hall of Famer, first ballot Hall of Famer, 100% vote. Uh, Rivera had a great career and just had, was a pleasure to watch all along. I was at the game where he broke the record for the most saves of all time. I just happened to be at Yankee Stadium that day. Vince Coleman 
Oh man, talk about stealing bases back in the days. We got Damaso Garcia. We got Ken Schroem. I want to give a little apology to Fluby Collector. I had uh, run into him while I was on my way over to the National. Had my phone. We did a video for my Tops community break, which is up on the channel now. And the other ones I did on my other camera. And somehow I forgot to include you. So let me play that now. Fluby Collector here. Here uh, ripping on 1987 Tops pack with my oldest boy Avery. Nonetheless, great time with the 2019 Chicago National. Thanks, Michael. Blue BA Collector here. Have a great day. So I was going to go the no name route in this recap, but I was inspired by Tops 85401. I'm going to give everyone a shout out. I hope I don't leave anyone off. If I did, I apologize. But here's a little list of everyone I met up with at the 2019 National, including Blue Jacket 66 and his son, Mark from Kentucky, Max Jackson, Michael Shane, aka Jericho IMI, AR Falk 77. Was great to briefly chat with him a little bit, as long as well as my friend Bob Super 25 Sports Cards. Manny from Card Cave Central, formerly known as All Star Jersey Shop, but if you're looking for him on YouTube, check out Card Cave Central. Phil Squeep at 21. Ed Westerberg. The Days of Life Car Crisis. Phil McDaniel. Abel in Vegas. Bob Lewis. Scott. Scotty Tradition. Ross Bombers Cards. Max Power Baseball. It's Triple Crown 24. JT. Andy. She blinded me with refractors. JY Sports Card Guy. Baseball Collector. NBA Collector here. Alloy the Go Force. Rated Rookie here. Jimmy Guns. Top 75. 401. Here. Yeah. This baseball card life. Jeremy the card dreamer. Dr. Like Snoop12922. Stove Sports here. It's Jerome Yankees card. Troy Rudder, aka TTM Troy. What's up guys? JMVP here. Green Town 62. I'm Ron Fig. Sports card fam. It's Alico 3. Cup fan here. Big day for life. Bill B. Hall of Fame collector here. Guys, what is up? I've had an amazing national. This is Lord Black Pages here. Pepino Man. It's Silver Jackify. Andrew Nuff said cards, Ryan from Hot Corner Collectibles, The Essential Credentials, Scove's Big Hits, Foo 3112, check out his videos, incredible pickups, mind blowing pickups, Adam Ha, Bowman 53, Brentwood Sports, Griffey Hoarder 24, and of course, Josh J Spartan 98. I hope I didn't leave anyone off. Guys, it was amazing. It was incredible. The, uh, the National is awesome. It's beyond cards. If you're considering going, just know it's about the experience. It's about the people. It's about having fun, building lifelong memories. It was awesome again. It was exhausting. Bit of advice for anyone out there considering going in the future, and myself, should I happen to watch this video in the future, Book an extra day if you can. If you can get in there a little earlier or leave a little later, you will thank yourselves. I feel like I make the same mistake every time. You try and cram too much in. The, the, show is, the show is massive and hanging out with people and hanging out late, you are going to uh, be exhausted by the end. It's not a bad thing, it's a great thing. That means you're having an amazing time. But just wanted to do my recap. I think the recaps are very important for uh, for the National. It's something you can always go back and check out and watch and kind of remember the amazing time you had and the special moments you spent with so many special people. So thank you to everyone out there in the community for making this another great National and the countdown to Atlantic City 2020. 
begins now. Have a great one.